This isn't the poem that I thought it was, but it's, it's a good one. It's called Refusing Heaven. The old women in black at early mass in winter are a problem for him. He could tell by their eyes they have seen Christ. They make the kernel of his being and the clarity around it seem meager, as though he needs girders to hold up his unusable soul. But he chooses against the Lord. He will not abandon his life. Not his childhood, not the 92 bridges across the two rivers of his youth, nor the mills along the banks where he became a young man as he worked. The mills are eaten away and eaten again by the sun and its rusting. He needs them even though they are gone to measure against. The silver is worn down to the brass underneath and is better for it. He will gauge by the smell of concrete sidewalks after night rain. He is like an old ferry dragged onto the shore, a home in its smashed grandeur with the giant beams and joists, like a wooden ocean out of control, a beached heart, a cauldron of cooling melt. Wow. And that's called Refusing Heaven. Yeah. And maybe if you give me just another minute, I can go yeah. find another one that's even, that's as good. But if it's, I, you, you saw how I keep things, so it could be in a number of places. All right. So while Tom's off looking for another one, I'm going to read this again. Refusing heaven, the old women in black at early mass in winter are a problem for him. He could tell by their eyes they have seen Christ. They make the kernel of his being and the clarity around it seem meager, as though he needs girders to hold up his unusable soul. So this is... This is about someone who is refusing to give up his hard-won atheism. He continues, but he chooses against the Lord. There you go. He will not abandon his life. So his life, what was his life? His life, obviously, somewhat like Tom's, like what I was saying about my parents, is a life that began with faith and through painful abnegation moved away from faith. And he can't give it up now, even though he sees that these women have seen Christ. He will not abandon his life, not his childhood, not the 92 bridges across the two rivers of his youth, nor the mills along the banks where he became a young man as he worked. So here it is, the youth. This is the, his, his transition, his movement. The mills are eaten away and eaten again by the sun and its rusting. He needs them even though they are gone to measure against. That's a great line. He needs them even though they are gone to measure against. The silver is worn down to the brass underneath and is the better for it. He will gauge by the smell of concrete sidewalks after night rain. He is like an old ferry dragged onto the shore, a home in its smashed grandeur, with the giant beams and joists, like a wooden ocean out of control. A bleached heart, no, a beached heart. A cauldron of cooling melt.